the same basic sealed beam, incandescent bulb headlights that illuminated the road in front of older vehicles have been standard equipment for many vehicles until the early 90s. These headlights were simple and they served the automotive industry well for half a century. A few years ago, lighting technology took a leap forward with the invention of the high intensity discharge or HID automotive headlights. In North America, they first appeared on the 91 BMW 7 Series. Today, as costs decrease, HID headlights are becoming available on some models from nearly every major manufacturer. Xenon headlamps were introduced as an option on the BMW 7 Series in 91 for Europe and in 93 for domestic models. This first system used an unshielded, non-replaceable bulb designated D1, a designation that would be used years later for a totally different type of bulb. The AC ballast was about the size of a red brick. The first domestic effort at HID headlamp was the only system to operate on DC and reliability proved inferior to the AC systems. All HID headlamps worldwide presently use the standardized AC operated bulbs and ballasts. Traditional automotive bulbs are either made of tungsten or halogen, both of which rely on a superheated for illumination. On the other hand, the bluish tint you see on HID equipped vehicles is from lighting technology that uses no filament whatsoever. HID bulbs create light much like a mercury vapor lamp. A high pressure gas is excited between high voltage electrodes. The bulbs are filled with xenon gas, which is why HID headlights are often referred to as xenon headlights. Now, with the flick of the headlight switch, the xenon gas turns into white hot plasma light in seconds. A single HID bulb is so bright that it can handle the job of two incandescent filaments. Once illuminated, HID light output is three times that of halogen and, as an added benefit, the ignited gas uses very low voltage, thereby reducing the load on the alternator. The light, now at a hotter color temperature than halogen, appears nearly white. The powerful white light makes distant street reflectors and signs highly visible to the driver. As HID light is more intense, the bulbs are typically placed behind projector beam headlight assemblies. These lenses allow the bright HID beam to be very focused, often with a very pronounced beam cut off or area where the light stops to reduce glare to opposing traffic. In addition, most HID equipped vehicles have standard beam leveling control, dropping and raising according to vehicle load and angle to further prevent glare to other road users. Early HID headlights were only used for the low beam with a halogen bulb reserved for high beam use. As reflector technology has improved by xenon headlights, offering both a low and high HID beam are offered on many vehicles today. They also last longer with an expected lifespan of 3,000 hours or about 90,000 miles for the average driver compared to between 450 and 1,000 hours for a halogen lamp. Many consider HID headlights a lifetime bulb that never needs to be replaced. Even if the bulb does burn out, and they can, the modular design allows bulb-only replacement, much like traditional headlight bulbs. HID headlights is an active safety feature that is used frequently increases headlight reliability and improves driver visibility.